previously on Hell's Kitchen. Ah! Holy mackerel! In the scallop shucking challenge. Giovanni, 13 out of 15. Really good job. The men were victorious, but Robert couldn't participate in the reward. The helicopter won't take anyone over 300 pounds. What the hell did I win? A free ferry ride? And Lacey didn't participate in the punishment. I don't feel good. Which mm. didn't sit well with her teammates. Everyone's been baiting your ass all morning. You really want to start something with me? Minutes before the doors open, G slipped and injured her ankle. I'm in pain. At dinner service, in the red kitchen, Carol struggled with the risotto. Look, it doesn't come out. What is that? Paula was strong on the meat station. Talk to me, Coy. What do you need, girl? And Colleen failed on fish. It's black! Oh, my God! In the blue kitchen, Ben. That's delicious. Yes, chef! And Danny. That's nice to cook that lamb, Danny. Thank you, chef. Impressed. But Charlie and Seth. There's no lobster in it. Did not. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Wake up! Both teams finished dinner service. Clear down. And the men were victorious. Great job! Chef Ramsay gave the women an assignment. Go back to the door. Decide on which two are going to be nominated. Piss off. And Carol immediately went gunning for Lacey. The personal side of me can't stand the out of you. When it came time to send someone home. Lacey, Colleen, step forward. My decision is... Chef. G? I'd like to volunteer. G's injured ankle took her out of the competition. Get back in line. Thank you, Chef. Keeping Colleen and Lacey's dreams of becoming head chef at Borgata Hotel in Atlantic City alive. Colleen and Lacey are going to have a really hard time filling G's shoes. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. I'm telling you, the woman I wheeled out, she is better at 50% than some of us here at 110%. I know that. I know that. She was a warrior tonight. She did the best that she could for us, and, you know, to lose her was just so tough. I'll tell you what, you had a saving grace tonight. You better prove yourself. Do you hear the way you said that to me? Andrea? I absolutely do. You what just you turned on your bitch mind? switch. Oh, I sure have a bitch switch, and you <laughs> hit it every <laughs> time. Well, good, because that's going to help <laughs> me, Andrea. Lacey shines when Lacey feels like she needs to. Every other time, she fails us. Couldn't Lacey have fell and <laughs> twisted her ankle? We lost one of our best team members. Do you think you deserve to be here? Do you, do you seriously think you deserve to be sitting right there? Yeah. That again. Prove that you got it in yourself. That's all I'm asking. Right do you now. want me to go quit right now? Huh? See? You then know what? Then then never shut the f up about it. Seriously. After an exhausting day, the chefs finally get to bed at 3 o'clock in the morning, only to be awoken three hours later. They woke us up in the morning at about two early o'clock. Time to get up! Let's go! Right out the front door now! Barely conscious, the chefs are whisked away to an undisclosed location. Let's go, let's go, everybody out. I really didn't have any idea what was going on. I was still thinking about the cowbell. Even when we got where we were going, we didn't know where we were. <laughs> Before we go inside, does anybody have a heart condition? No, no chef. Is anybody afraid of heights? No, no chef. chef. Open up the duffel bags, get dressed completely. Make sure you grab yourself a barf bag, too. Why do I need a barf bag? What the hell am I going to see that I need a barf bag? Come on, follow me. Oh, God. 
this is disgusting. Ugh. The second they opened the door, it was insane. Everything from hooves to livers to intestines, it was crazy. All the meat gets processed on this line. It gets portioned into the steaks. There's no trash cans in the room at all. There was, like, blood on the ground and, like, bodies hanging, and it was, ugh. You have a whole side of beef right here. Your New York strip comes from right inside here. You get your brisket. You have your ribeyes. It's freezing cold. Inside. Chef Scott gave us the whole speech. You know, this is a side of beef. Um, I'm just like, OK, whatever. Does that look familiar now? Yes. yes sir. I grew up in Omaha, Nebraska, the beef capital of the United States. And my grandmother was a butcher. Definitely not new to me. Field trip's over. Let's go. When the chefs arrive back in Hell's Kitchen, they find Chef Ramsay waiting for them. But he's not alone. Whilst you guys were out this morning at the meat processing plant, I was hanging out with my new mates, yes? Jelly Bean and Bessie. I knew as soon as I saw that cow, we better have been paying attention in the meat house. I truly need to know if all of you know your meat. Scott and Gloria. This challenge is in two parts. First, one person at a time runs out, identifies eight different cuts of meat. Meat, that's one of my strong suits. I know cow. Yeah, I know cow. <laughs> then we move on to stage two, locating where that cut is from on the cow. Run back, ring the bell, and I'll let you know what you got right and what you got wrong. Is that clear? Yes, yes sir. Trust me, you do not want to lose this challenge. The red team really needs to win this challenge. Our losing streak stops now. You can do it, girl. Gentlemen, who's going first? Ben. Giovanni. Didn't you work in a steakhouse? Yes, yeah, chef. And Ben's going first. That's interesting. I didn't even get a chance to speak. They were like, who wants to go first? Someone said Ben, and he gave me about it. Are you ready? Yes, yes chef. Yes. Off you go. Let's go. Move, Ben. Let's go. For the first part of this challenge, the chefs must use labels to correctly identify the eight cuts of beef. Yeah, up next for the men is Giovanni, who will try to figure out which one of the labels must be replaced. Come on, G! Come on, G! Come on, G! Oh, just think about it. We're close. Ring the bell. Just one. I'm comfortable with identifying my meat cuts. I was confident. I thought, we got it. We got it. Shoot wrong. Let's go. Paula is next for the women. One wrong. One wrong. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. OK. Blue's correct. Next person. Off we go. Go, go, go. If Giovanni went first, which he should have, we would have had them all correct in one go. But as far as putting it on the cow, that was my concern. Go. Come on, baby. Yeah. Go on, baby. Go. Red. OK, good. Next person. Go. Let's go. Paula has completed stage one for the women. Now both teams are racing to identify where on the cow each cut of beef comes from. Three wrong. Come on. Come on, Seth. Come on, Polly. Putting it onto the cow, it's much more difficult when you got people screaming at you and you're trying to figure it out. Go! Go, Rizzo! Three wrong. Up, let's go. Come on. Come on, guys. Okay. Come on, Seth. Come on. Meat is one of my fortes. I definitely had six, seven out of eight without even looking. Come back. Ring the Ring bell. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Go for it. I can't hear that. Ring, Ring the bell. Seven wrong for blue. Let's go. Holy oh, We're working okay, backwards. Seth, what the what are you doing? Zero, zero. Seth's poor performance has set the men back. Now Lacey has a golden opportunity to redeem herself with her team. Come on, Lacey! It's my chance to show my team that I can step up and deserve to be here. Come on, we can do this! Go through for us, Lacey! Both teams are racing to complete the meat challenge in which they have to correctly place the labels on the appropriate part of the cow. It's Lacey's turn for the women, and it's Robert's turn for the men. Come on, Lacey! Lacey was just moving things around for the sake of feeling like she was doing something, and you know what? That's no different than she is in the kitchen. Come on, let's go! Six wrong! Robert has only improved on Seth by one. OK, bottom round. What does bottom mean? One, two, three, four, five, six wrong. Dear, oh dear. Next up for the women is executive sous chef Paula, and for the men, the other executive sous chef, Ben. All right, Ben. Let's go, Ben. 
Let's go, okay. buddy. There you go, there you go, there you go. Try you go. that. Try it. Five, six, seven, eight. All done. Yeah! The boys team, we're just a force to be reckoned with now. Just coming off of a win on service and a win on two challenges back to back. That's a kick to the teeth in, in morale land. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies, your performance was pathetic. We didn't win. I'm tired of losing. I'm definitely embarrassed. Have you got a busy day in front of you? A number of sides of beef arriving for butchery. Gentlemen, well done. Thank you, sir. Really well done. Today, we've got the most amazing trip. We're heading up to Santa Inez for some wine tasting. Oh, sweet. After, we're going to have the most amazing dinner in a beautiful steakhouse. Unfortunately, there's a bit of bad news. We won't be driving in a limo. We'll be taking a private jet. So, move your arms. We've got a plane to oh, catch. Yeah. That's the way the blue team rolls. We roll in jets and helicopters. Yes, sir! Ladies, 3 nil down. Pull it back. Now, piss off. We got slaughtered again. Everything is an absolute cluster with us. This is awesome, dude. It's badass. Redo. What a great victory, dude. Did I do the corporate look? I can't wait to get some more hang time with Chef Ramsay. We about to go big pimping. Yeah! <laughs> Sexy. These are my my wedding shoes. Oh! oh today's your wedding day too, isn't it? Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. I gave up my wedding to be here. I had to cancel everything. Throw him a bachelor party. Yeah, can we get a stripper to Hell's Kitchen? <laughs> we decided as a couple that for me to be on Hell's Kitchen is the most important thing right now for our future. Robert, we'll take turns making out with you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Robert is the sweetest person. I really respect Robert for not giving up the opportunity of a lifetime. You look nice, Robert. Welcome. Let's go. Straight through. We pulled up there, was sitting this crisp private jet. It was unbelievable. Here we go, we're on our way. If we're gonna win the challenge and you're gonna go somewhere, this is the way you roll, right? On a private jet, I felt like a king. Come on. Oh. Drinking champagne, eating cheese platters. I wonder how they're doing on that beef. <laughs> Meat deliveries here. Unloaded. Oh, okay. Ah! Oh my god, box. holy cow, this is disgusting. Let's climb up there. It was shocking. It looks like a scene straight up out of some kind of Godfather movie. I was expecting to see a dead body hanging back there. Let's go. It's gonna be really heavy. It was a whole side of a cow, like leg. I mean, it had everything but the head on it. Yeah, let's bring this cow. Got it, we got it. Let's go. Getting the entire side of beef off of the truck was a feat. Getting it into the kitchen it was a whole nother thing. Come on, Lacey, lift the f on it! Lift it! 1,200 pounds of pure moo cow. Oh, the bones were digging into my shoulder. You know, I kept losing grip because the fat was starting to melt from our body heat. It was awful. Keep going, what? keep going, to the back! Ah! Blue, blue, blue! Oh, Come on! Oh, ow, 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 ow! Lacey. Oh. Who's no. bleeding? Who's bleeding? What's it's that? the cow. It's probably from the cow. Not Lacey. No. Thanks, right. yeah. This punishment sucks. Since you got the first one off without a problem, let's start bringing in the second one. While the women are in utter hell, the men are getting a taste of heaven. How are you, buddy? Pleasure to meet you. Happy guys. to be here. Yes, this is the team, the winning team. Pleasure. All right, guys. Congratulations. Right. Welcome to Sunstone. The best way to know the winery is to actually start by tasting the grapes. So follow me. We'll go to the cellar. Right to the very beginning. Let's go. How could you not feel like a VIP? They closed down that winery for us. We got the full backstage tour. Wow, that's delicious. Delicious. Holy macaroni. I have never seen that much meat in my life, ever. OK. Oh, this is so scary. I got blood on my coat. I got cow fat in my hair. I don't know. Oh. We can't lose anymore. I'm not having any more punishments. Damn it! So good. Yes. Amazing. Food's delicious. Yes. Understand the level of simplicity. All about flavor. And they're not trying to be too clever either, are they? 
Fat and happy. It's a beautiful day in my neighborhood. How's it feel to be out, Robert? Happy? Very happy. Uh -huh. This is probably one of the best days in a long time for me. Never been treated so much like class, man. I felt like on top of the world, man. Just spare a thought for the girls now. Yeah. <laughs> While the men taste some of the finer cuts of beef, back in Hell's Kitchen, Chef Ramsay wants the women to develop their palates for some of the less popular parts of the cow. Yeah. Compliments to Chef Ramsay. What? Uh. You have all your primary parts of a cow. There's some tongue, kidneys, heart, there is some liver. There's some barf bags, just in case you don't feel very well. I was pissed when I saw that. I was just like, no way. This is not happening. I can't do it. I'm sorry, you guys. Quit being a baby. Just eat. I have a crazy fear of puking. I don't puke. If I hear someone gag, I'm going to go. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> All right. Andrea, it was bad. It was really, really, really bad. And it hurt to see her go through that pain. <laughs> this is not gonna break me. <laughs> this is far worse than anything Ramsey could ever say to me. Andrea gave me the strength to keep going because I saw how badly it was affecting her. And it broke my heart. This is what happens when we don't work as a team. We wind up eating together, okay? Y'all gotta step up. I'm saying that to every single one of you, and I'm saying it to myself, too. I agree. I know that cow inside and out. I know those cuts inside and out, and here we sit. I'm so humiliated right now. <laughs> we, we gotta do this for her. <laughs> The men return from their rewarding day to find the women... Holy cow! ...done with their lunch break and up to their elbows in punishment. Oh, my goodness. Yes, ladies! <laughs> we walked into the red team just hacking away at cow. Sorry, you know, uh, winners get rewards and losers get to play with meat. <laughs> wow, those are some big pieces of cow. Did you guys get a cart or something? We carried it on our backs. They should have gotten you guys a plane. <laughs> Dude, go away. Oh, they're bitter. They are bitter. It's a new day in Hell's Kitchen, and Chef Ramsay has made a major change for tonight's dinner service. Good morning. Good morning, Chef. We all understand meat a lot better than ever before, yes? Yes, Chef. That's great news, because tonight, Hell's Kitchen is going to become the most amazing steakhouse. <laughs> That's right. Blue team's gonna win dinner service tonight. I'm a chef at the steakhouse. I feel totally confident. I do this every day. Except this one comes with a twist. There'll be two seatings. One team will cook, one team will serve. Then we'll turn it around. Is that clear? Yes, chef. A lot of work ahead of us. Let's go. With only hours before the doors open. All right, let's do it. Come on. The men dive right into their prep work, while in the red kitchen, Andrea gives her team a little pep talk. I know this is a very straightforward menu, but I don't want to have a relaxed attitude thinking, oh, this is all we have. This is going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. We're not going to drop the ball, Andrea. Us girls, we are fired up. After what we had to do yesterday, there ain't no stopping us. Bloody hell! The boys are in trouble. Pumped, buddy? Pumped, baby. You gotta win this one. Absolutely. None of us are going home tonight, ladies. None of us. This could be the freaking nail in the coffin, man. It's now just minutes before the evening's first dinner service seating. As the winners of the challenge, the men have chosen to cook first. Uh, I'd really be embarrassed if we lost this one. Yeah. Hey, let's do a serve for Robert today. Let's win yeah, it for Robert. To Rob. His fiance. Today, me and my fiance Jamie were to be married. So this service is for her. Let's go, please. Yes, open house kitchen. Steak night. Let's go. Tonight, for the first time ever, Hell's Kitchen opens as a steakhouse. Each team will only have two hours to feed as many diners as they can. How you all doing this evening? How are you doing? I'm fantastic. We have to start off a uh, traditional Caesar salad. We're also offering that with shrimp. And for the main course, Koi has brought out a beautiful cart. I'll be right back. Jean-Philippe, I need some tickets, please, yes? 
Come on, let's go. Okay. We, we need to bring tickets in. I don't care. Oh, he's going to scream. Jean-Philippe, move. Yeah, hurry up, yeah? Let's go, please. Don't do that to me. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. You ready? No, 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 no. Come on. Just leave me alone, JP. It's not going to help me for you to sit there and yap in my ear. Oh, you can stick it, stick it. Unbelievable. Right, can I have an order, please, yeah? Chef. What's taking so long, Paula? It took him 20 minutes to get the first ticket in. Sorry, Unbelievable. Chef. Of course, they were doing it on purpose. Now I'm pissed. An order, two covers, table seven, unfold your arms, Charlie. Two seats of salad, entree, one tuna, one filet. Let's go. Yes, chef. chef. Dessert to pick up. Yes, chef. Let's go, Danny, huh? Yes, chef. What is going on? I'm waiting on four Caesar. Two is shrimp. Why aren't the shrimp on? I've got them right here. I was throwing them on. Get them on! I am right now, chef. Sorry, chef. Come on, Charlie. Yes, chef. Unbelievable. A Caesar salad, we're in the <laughs> Your cloth's on fire. Your cloth's on fire. Charlie, wake the up, man. Get it in the water, Scott, please, before he sets the place on fire. Doing my best, chef. That's your best. You might want to rethink your best a little bit. It's 30 minutes into dinner service, and Ben is trying to impress Chef Ramsay with his speed. Coming down with desserts, coming down with desserts. Unfortunately, having dessert ready before the appetizers is not exactly what Chef Ramsay had in mind. Yeah, put them down. Hey, all of you, come here. Ben's now bringing me a chocolate brownie. What's going on? I didn't know what was going on, but he brought up dessert four minutes in. I mean, I've done some stupid but that's embarrassing. So let's do it this way, then. Here you go. Ben wants to serve the chocolate brownie before we serve the appetizers. No, chef. What are you dreaming of? Are you stupid? No, chef. You got cheesecake made as well? No, chef. We've trashed six desserts before we sent our appetizers. It's my fault, chef. It was my mistake for not exactly knowing Chef Ramsay's terminologies, but me if the words pick and up don't mean give you the desserts. Have you been drinking or sniffing? No, chef. No, Look chef. at me. Go upstairs for lie down. No, no, chef. Go, on, go upstairs okay, chef. for lie down. Useless. Absolutely useless. Ben has failed to score any brownie points with Chef Ramsay. Meanwhile, Charlie's appetizers are making their way out to the dining room. Wait, I didn't know that this came with anchovies. Or it, like, overtaking the plate. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. And back to the kitchen. She doesn't really know what she's doing. She just didn't know there were anchovies on it. You got what you asked for. I know, Chef. So why did you f up? Um, I know you find this is, I mean, you, I you, yeah, you, like, you laugh, it's funny. I'm not laughing. I'm trying than... not to cry. Britney Spears, you jumped up, bitch. There's a reason I don't wait tables, and this is it. Steakhouse chef Giovanni, not surprisingly, has been assigned to lead the meat station and is attempting to get the steaks out quickly. Yeah, that's medium, yes? I think this is still alive. This steak's raw. I like rare, but I think it's a little too rare. Then take this out of your way for you. Thank you. What's wrong? He said that he wants it brought up a little bit, chef. Giovanni! Yes, chef! Robert, come here. Robert, bounce your way down here. Let's go. Touch it! Touch nice it! Cold. Touch it! It's cool. Walking that piece of beef pisses me off. We have an executive chef of a steakhouse running our grill. Wake up, get it together, and put out some decent food. Giovanni, yes, chef. Thank you. I've never visited your steakhouse. It's blue. Yes, chef. How do you like it? Tell me. It's rare, like like this one. Okay, I'll we'll get you a rare piece. You're welcome. More than halfway through the first seating, steaks continue to be returned. And Chef Ramsay would like a word with... Giovanni! Yes, Chef. This is a joke. Now there's more steaks coming back. You're really screwing up. Yes, Chef. We need some help on the fillet. Yes, Get chef. on top of it. I have all the experience in the world running a steakhouse. It, it, it's just horrible, unacceptable by me. And it just sucks. I need this table! With just 30 minutes left in the first seating, John Philippe is looking for Lacey. Table 23. 20, the table which you forgot. I have to go up there and tell him to fire it? Well, who's gonna, who else gonna do it? John Philippe, I've never waited tables before. <laughs> Can you just go and ask the chef to call? <laughs> I need uh, main courses for 23 fired yeah. chef. Hey, Thank madam, you. we're just taking the order in now. Why is it taking so long? She forgot the table. Yeah, f off with me, I know. Lacey forgot the order. One filet, one ribeye. Chef, we got one filet left. Telling me now we're out of filet. Yes, chef. Head the me, do something, yes, chef. It. Chef Ramsay said, "Hey, Seth, bugger off and you know cut fillet." Usually, I you know I buy them already cut. Real quick, Charlie. Okay. Get all that off. Okay. 
You've never cleaned a tenderloin? Where have you worked? In your parents' house? You happy, Giovanni, eh? You happy? Yeah? Hey, no, Robert. chef. Happy? Happy? Not happy at all, chef. Pathetic. Nothing is going out. What are you actually doing, Seth? I'm playing the uh, filet mignon, chef. Why is it not coming out? Let's go, come on. How long, Giovanni? I got two minutes, chef. I'm waiting on you, Charlie, come on. I gotta recook another one. He ain't gonna let that one fly. That's 30 seconds old. Bingo. Hey, all of you, here, quickly. There's the filet, yes? Look at the waste. That's what he took off. And there's a the fillet. Look at the fillet! He molested that poor thing. People have gone to jail for worse. Looks like he went with it with a jackhammer. We wasted the most expensive half. Look at it! What are you gonna do? Get daddy to buy you a new one? With only 15 minutes left in the first seating, Seth has butchered the fillet. We wasted the most expensive half. Look at it! What are you gonna do? Get daddy to buy you a new one? And possibly the blue team's hope of winning dinner service. How can you do that? I never butchered a, a fillet before, so. Congratulations, you just have. Thank you, yes. Hey, 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 smart ass. Not in the right way, you bozo. Yes, sir. I don't think I did that bad butchering that fillet, but now I know for next time. Take your time, Giovanni. Two ribeye, one fillet, one strip. How long? Two minutes, chef! Hurry up, there's two minutes to go. Service, please. Charlie, that tuna looks raw. Move, Charlie, huh? Yes, chef. Giovanni! Yes, chef! Where's the New York strip? Chef, I'm four minutes away. Oh, my God. Switch it off! We're now over two hours. He the fillet, the shrimp go down, this sends me dessert before the appetizers. Oh. Jean-Philippe, shut it down, yes? Two hours over. Clear yes, down! Yes, yes, chef. I embarrass myself, my family, my girlfriend. Here we go. Here comes the pain. Now the tables have turned, and the red kitchen will have two hours to feed the dining room. Jean-Philippe, chef. Open house kitchen, second time round. Let's go. Yes, so got this. I would like to welcome you to Hell's Kitchen. You're about to have an unbelievable meal. I'll do the filet, please. Yes, ma'am. Come on, guys. We need orders. The ladies are ready to kick your... I forgot there were customers out there. <laughs> What's taking you so long? Yes? Sorry, chef. Sorry, chef. On order, four covers table 53. Four Caesar salad away. Two is shrimp, two plate. Yes, chef. Entree. Two strip, one ribeye, one fillet. Yes, yes, chef. While the red team gets to work on their first appetizers, Charlie, who had problems in the kitchen, is already having problems in the dining room. Hey, Ben, do me a favor. Go over to this table. Four people. OK, and what do I need Just to ask? Just ask them if I've taken their order yet. Because <laughs> I can't remember. I'll honestly. take care of it. Ask that table if I took their order. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> have you had your order taken? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Looking for butter. Just oh, here's butter. Charlie. Look, we found him. We finally he, he, was, he was churning the butter in the back. <laughs> Where's the four season salad? Two shrimp. Coming, chef. These were two. One and one. Where's the four I asked for? Four Caesar salad, two shrimp. Hey. Yes, chef. You're doing this on purpose. No, I'm not. I swore that you said two, one in one. Look at me. I'm... Look at me. Four <laughs> salads. There's always that person in your life that's going to be grumpy and, you know, not be nice. But then there's the one like Chef Ramsay, who's the arrogant, vicious attack dog. Hey, madam. You're <laughs> pathetic. Yes, Chef. With no food coming out of the kitchen, the men are doing what they can to keep the customers occupied. Do you speak French? French. Sure, I'm French. I'm French. I'm French. I'm French. I'm French. Do you speak French? No. <laughs> Four salads, three shrimp, one plate. Oh, no, yes, no. Chef. Hey, oh, no, no. Come here. Yes, Chef. What's going? Four Caesar salads, three shrimp, one plate. One more. Four Caesar salad, chef. Three shrimp, one plate. One more. 
Four Caesar salad, chef. Three shrimp, one plain. And last time. Four Caesar salad, chef. Three. Um. Oh. Three shrimp, God. one plain. Three shrimp, one plain. One plain. Oh, you. Come on, get it on. Come on. Woo. Make your salad. Come on, do it. She's not normal. She cannot be normal. My God. Colleen, if we lose tonight and I go home, I swear to God, I hope you can't sleep at night because you deserve to go home more than I do. What's next? I have no idea what's next. He's been making me yell. It's 45 minutes into dinner service, and despite Colleen's problems on the appetizer station, salads are leaving the kitchen. Is, is it not cooked all the way through? Not all the way. But they're also coming back. What's the matter? If the shrimp was raw in the middle. Oh, no. Coy, come here. Yes, chef. The shrimps are raw. Yes, chef. Unbelievable. This menu is so simple. This should not be hard. I mean, the Caesar salad with shrimp. You know, how do you f that up? Refire two shrimp Caesar salad with a shrimp more cooked. Refire. Yes, chef. While Coy and Colleen are struggling to get their salads right in the dining room. Oh, my god. Charlie is giving his customers more than they bargained for. Yeah, we'll clean up this mess for you. I'm so, so sorry. Charlie, what is this? This is quite embarrassing. I know it is. I'll fix yeah, it. Did you apologize? I did. I apologized thoroughly, and yeah, I got Can you remove water. this with your I am, I am right now. I felt like a total <laughs> when I dumped bacon all over this poor woman. I am so terribly apologetic. It was on the table, and it was in their water, and it was a catastrophe. Terribly, terribly sorry. With less than 30 minutes left in the second seating. Work together! Yes, Chef. Chef Ramsey's looking to Andrea to get the steaks out to the hungry customers. Andrea, you're going to have to hurry up now. We're ready to go, ready to go, ladies. All right, let's go. Away now. One fillet, one ribeye, one New York. Yes? Yes, Chef. These steaks are flying out. Keep it going. Yes, yes? Chef. Yes, yes, Chef. Chef. I'm absolutely glad I wound up on that meat station. I was excited to be there. I just rocked it out. Good job, ladies. Come on, you guys rock. Great job, ladies. The ladies have clearly picked up the pace, and steaks are flying out of the kitchen. I'd be more than happy to refire it for you, sir, absolutely. But they're not staying in the dining room very long. I'm so sorry. Excuse me, chef. Yeah. I have a refire, sir. The gentleman would like to take this to a medium, sir. He said it was too underdone. He ordered it medium rare. I, uh, it's... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Shut up. Turn the volume down, you fat... Look at me, medium rare. That is perfect. That's perfect. Now off with it, yes, yes? Chef. I'd like to think that they didn't sabotage us, but we had a lot of steaks come back. I'm sorry. What's the matter with you? Table 32. He decided this was not cooked the way it should be. What did he order? Uh, it's he just, he yeah. just said that he didn't like the way it was cooked. It's perfect. Chef. Yeah. Right. Now off you, yeah. Yes, chef. We will do anything we have to do to win. We will take food back up. They sabotaged us first, so now it's open game. Hey, hey, are you trying to stitch them? Not at all, Chef. Do you want to serve more food to slow them down? He just asked off. Oh. Yes, Chef. As time runs out in the second seating, the pressure is on Andrea to deliver on the meat station. You ready? Five minutes left. Yes, Chef. Step up again, yes? Yes, Chef. Yes, chef. We're ready to go. Let's go. Coming up to the pass right now, ladies. Come on, let's go. Come on. Go complete, yes? We've got three orders left, guys. Come on. Sorry. Come on, Andrea. Where's the New York strip? Where's your two strip? I thought it was two ribeye. What? Guys, I found the strip. We have no strip. On a night in which there were two dinner services, Chef Ramsey has a lot to consider in choosing tonight's winning team. Tonight, you're examined on the performance of the dining room, your cooking ability, and the feedback from every customer. Yes? Men. Yes, yes chef. chef. Worst waiter. Charlie, it was you. Lovely. Ladies. Yes, Chef. chef. The worst. Waitress. Lacey. Yes, Chef. OK, here's the real big news. The team that served the most entrees, and therefore the winner of tonight's dinner service was...
team that served the most entrees. And therefore, the winner of tonight's dinner service was... The Red Team. I want to be dead honest. I was kind of hoping that we would lose tonight so we can get rid of some dead weight. OK, gentlemen, you lost. Go back to the dorm. Think long and hard about which two all of you want to nominate for elimination. Is that clear? Yes. 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 Now, f off. Where's my girl? We should have had this one in the bag. This should have been a cakewalk. And, and unfortunately for us, it took a lot longer getting tickets in than we did. They messed up a lot more than we did on the floor. We should have won this competition, considering I'm, I'm a chef in a steakhouse. It's just unreal that we lost this. We were, we were better than that. Char Dog, I'm going to be very upfront with you. My two people are you and Seth. Charlie, I, I, I got the same, too. I'm sorry. I can't go out like that. I can't go out like that. Giovanni is going to be my goal. He's a steakhouse guy. This should have been a slam dunk. I'm going to pick, I think, the best person here, Giovanni. Take out the strongest guys, then I'm the strongest guy. I mean, it's simple as that. What I agree is. with Seth. That's not fair. This is not what it's about. It's about the people that <laughs> up that day. I will not pick any one of you because you are <laughs> better than me. Let's not forget uh, that's what a that. good move. Be like, I want to get rid of the best person here. Take out the best <laughs> guy so you can save your ass. If you're not better than someone, you shouldn't pick them because they're your biggest competition. That makes me a punk and a <laughs> to pick the best person out there that's my competition. I wouldn't be sad to see Gio go. It's because he's a Head. If I want to win, I want to win fair. I don't want to win by knocking you out for no apparent reason. Seth should be going home tonight. Who will go home? You really don't know. We've been on top of the world. It's time to get some humble pie. Gentlemen, have you reached your decision? Yes, yes, yes chef. chef. Right, Jay. Yes, Chef. First nominee and why? First nominee would be Seth. Why? His kitchen etiquette, uh, he really doesn't have much kitchen etiquette. His experience, uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have that much experience. He's got a lot to learn. Second nominee and why? Second nominee would be... Charlie. Why? Execution tonight was a little off in the front of the house. He definitely didn't meet the par that we needed to uh, achieve. And Chef. I could just say something. If we could just go down the line and ask, you know, because I don't know if Jay is allowed to speak for everybody. The chef asked me. Yes. So I answered the chef. Yes, that's your so opinion. So keep your mouth so. shut. I just wanted to make sure that everybody was in agreement with the exact same thing that Jay was saying. On behalf of the blue team, Jay has nominated Charlie and Seth for elimination. But Seth has something to say about that. I just wanted to make sure that everybody was in agreement with the exact same thing that Jay was saying. Seth, Charlie, get your f***ing ass here. Charlie. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Because uh, I can cook my ass off. I've got a lot more experience than Seth. I've been doing this for a long damn time. I just haven't done it your way, and I want to learn your way, and I want to continue to be here. Seth. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Uh, I think Charlie's comment is a great comment that I do not have as much experience as him. And I believe that that is where you would come into play and, and uh, paint a canvas for me and teach me what I need to know for the rest of my life. I absolutely am flawed by this experience, Chef. I'm learning more and more every day. I cannot believe how much I'm learning. I absolutely love the opportunity to stay here. I'm absolutely loving being yelled at. I, I appreciate it. I absolutely it. have so much left in I me. I would just absolutely love the opportunity to still work for you, because I, I absolutely am. Where's the off button?
Why aren't the shrimp on? I've got them right here. I was throwing them on. Get them chef. on! Come on, Charlie! Yes, chef. Unbelievable. Wasting the most expensive part. Look at it! The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is. Charlie, take off a jacket. Three services. I've got to see it. I've got to feel it. And I don't. This is the first job I've ever been fired from. Chef Ramsay made the wrong decision. I did what I could, and I worked my ass off for that guy. I'm confident in my ability. And uh, if he didn't see that, that's his own bad. Tonight's service. Should have been easier for everybody. A straightforward stakeout. And because we didn't work as a team, we didn't pull it off. All of you, wake up. Piss off. Seth. Yes, chef. That close. Yes, chef. I believe Seth should have been the one to go. I'm not going to hide it. Like I said, I, I don't have too much respect for Seth right now. He'll do anything to win, and that's including cheating. But sooner or later, Seth's luck is going to run out. Yeah! I'm still here, baby. I ain't going nowhere. It's got too much fight left in me. I'm just really glad that, you know, the red team pulled it out and we won. And I survive another day in hell. Charlie is a prep chef, but I'm looking for a head chef. He seems like a nice guy, but you know when nice guys finish. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. Oh. Colleen gets in the spirit. Let's go, red team, let's go! Colleen, get the hash browns off. And Robert gets into character. This is the most prestigious chance of life on. <laughs> in the bin. Are you joking me? The blue team breaks down. I am obviously the best cook on the team. You couldn't cook my And the women use it to their advantage. I'm hoping that that just causes a little sliver and we can just kind of crack it wide open. All for a chance to become head chef at Borgata Atlantic City. And at dinner, Chef Ramsay finally gets a performance he wants. That sauce now, tomato sauce is much better. I just seem to rock everything I touched. But he also gets a performance he doesn't want. Look what's in my salad. Pathetic! And he witnesses something he thought he'd never see. What are you doing in here? All next time on the most controversial Hell's Kitchen yet. Scully! Get out! Catch a full two hours of action with an all-new Terminator and a new dollhouse. Box tomorrow.